Hello. Hey. How's it going, everybody? Hi. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, everybody. This, this is my face. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> okay, we'll stop that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Sunny, and I'm here. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just Bungo Stray Dogs. Oh my god, the fish eye, not the fish eye. I gotta go. Bye. No, no, no. Um, hi! Hey, everyone! What's going on? Um, my name's Sunny, and I'm here to stream Animal Crossing. Thank you for the follow, by the way. I totally I missed that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm here. Um, I'm vibing. This is my first live, and we're gonna tour my island. Um, if you didn't read the title, I've been working on it for three whole years. Um, that's a little bit of clickbait, <laughs> but, um, I have, I've been working on this. Hey, hey, Apple. Hey, oh my God. Got it. This is not good for my ADHD at all. I'm just like doing 20 million things at one time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm touring my island. I've been working on this since this game came out three years ago, and I've been wanting to stream since this game came out. So, you know. I'm just kind of like, F it, let's do it, let's start, because Loki, I kept chickening out. I put myself on blast on stream right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess let me know. <laughs> Finally, I know. Call me out, I deserve to be roasted. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I suppose let's walk around a little bit and chitty chat and all that jazz. But um, I guess let me know if things are running okay, because... I'm new to all this stuff. <laughs> yes, I know you've been roasting me for a while, Tatsu. Oh my god. <laughs> I deserve it. I deserve it. I totally deserve it. <laughs> I didn't think this day would come. Oh my god, I know. I deserve it. Oh my god. Um, But yeah, let me know if everything's running okay and if things are good sound and loud. I, I don't know what I'm doing, so we're all gonna learn together. But um, this is La Loon. Oh wait, I'm a fool. Let me pull my game up on where I can actually see it. Oh man, I'm already floundering, you guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? <laughs> there we go. Now I can actually see my game instead of just in the tiny window. Okay. <laughs> this is La Loon. Um, I've been working on her for a minute. And we're just gonna take a little moonlit tour. It's a little, it's a little rainy, but it's okay. But yeah, um, it's kind of like a witchy... Oh, hey, Dobby. Dobby, you're inter interrupting the stream. This is Dobby, everyone's favorite grandpa. Treasure. Um, SD, I'm gonna have to pass right now. I'm so sorry. Please don't be sad. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry. Oh god, now he's in my way and I'm pushing him. I'm such a monster. Oh my lord. I'm so sorry. I love you, grandpa. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a witchy foresty kind of core vibe everyone always calls them cores i'm just kind of here so i guess that's the theme witchy and mountainy and fantasy yeah um so on this beach is like a little lagoon kind of situation w is so extra i'm just like i'm so sorry <laughs> i feel like there's some sort of theme i'm describing it so well you know i'm describing it so well um, this is like a little lagoon kind of thing on the beach. I love all these glowing moss items so much. They're just, I like the way they light up in the dark and all that. Um, there's stars all around. If you can't tell, I love celestial shit. But yeah, nice little lagoon. And then we have this door that everyone has seen before who's played this game. <laughs> I do love the pond. I just love the way it like poops, you know, like. It's just like, poof. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll go over that bridge. Actually, this is like the very first bridge I made in the game. Like, you get the log bridge, but, um, this is like the first location of where I put mine, and I, like, rebuilt this one right here. So, in fact, if anyone cares, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't want him to get out of the way. I love Dobby. He's my best boy. Him and Lobo are my favorite wolves, but, um, no, I feel so bad for being mean to him. Um, anyway, when you come across that bridge, this is 
the little farmer's market kind of area. And yeah, there's just all these little stalls. There's a little bakery because I love to bake in real life. Little books because I like to read. Um, off to the left here, there's like a little sitting area where you can vibe with Tacoid and read some books and drink some tea. I guess in the rain <laughs> today because it's a bit gloomy. But um, Tacoid's my favorite gyroid. You'll realize that <laughs> pretty soon because he's everywhere all over this island. I used way too much, to be honest, but it's okay. Um, and then when you come under the beach here, there's like an extension to the market a bit. We got this little fish stall. We got Mr. Stitch's house. I, I think Stitch's probably runs the stall because, you know, he's a little bear. He, he, he probably likes fish. Bears like fish. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's got a little pumpkin soup and a little tent. And him and Kiki live on the beach. Um, he's Kiki. She's my favorite villager. I'm obsessed with her. Black cat, you know. I feel like every Animal Crossing fan is secretly a furry. <laughs> you know? Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kiki's got a little, like, picnic. And she's studying some little witchy stuff, maybe. I don't know. I don't ask questions. Um, <laughs> on the dock, we've got Mr. Mr. Cap'n. Vibing with his little tiny library. And his moss. And yeah, just coming up the beach, a little sitting area behind the farmer's market where you can eat your your food you eat, get there or whatever. Um, on the rocks, we got Mr. Turtle. I don't know what he's doing. Probably looking for treasure or something. Um, yeah, a little, little study area that you can, like, chill on the beach with the campfire. Read. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of reading on my island. Maybe it's not the most, like, fun. It's very educational, <laughs> apparently. And confirm with my best villager. Oh, you mean Anka? Yeah, everyone loves Anka. She's a popular girl. But yeah, coming back through the market a little bit more. There's like a fresh food stall and a little place where you can get like your tarot red. Kind of tucked in the trees. Little gyroids running it. Um, and we got a little armor, armor stall where you can suit up. You know, because you need a sword in Animal Crossing. Uh, fresh bread and milk and a butter churn. This guy. Oh, I'm getting stuck in my own island. <laughs> You'll learn quickly. I like can't navigate my own island. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, I think this island depicts me pretty well. You know, it's just kind of like cozy and dark and a little gloomy. <laughs> oh my god, are you getting me a Kiki plushie? Listen, if I could hug Kiki in real life, that would be. The best thing actually in the whole world, you know? Um, but yeah, so this is like my little oddities market. This is like one of the first builds I actually did on this island because um, <laughs> I've remade it like a million times over the years. And like, I guess this theme or whatever is kind of like where I finally settled. But um, yeah, got a little... Obviously, I redid it with like the new 2.0 items. So we got this great little pot for all your witchy needs. Um little pharaoh head that <laughs> makes you trip when you run. I love that thing. It's so fucking funny. Um, yeah, and then all the haunted paintings. They creep me out, but they're also like a really cool addition to this game. Little, little workbench station. And yeah, that's the market. And then we'll follow this path kind of back. The bridge is back to the left, and then we'll go through this little path through the woods. And I don't know why. This area is like simple, but I really like it. And I don't know if that's, like, me tooting my own <laughs> horn a little bit. Because I'm okay at this game. I I'm alright. But, um, I just like a good, like, woodsy path, you know? Hey, Mina. You're back. Um, this is the square that everyone's seen a million times. Everyone is partying here, apparently. Missy Oni. I love her. She's, like, one of the new villagers or whatever. She's so stinking cute. I'm obsessed with her. Teach me how to build in games, please. Aw. I just kind of throw stuff places, you know, like, oh, don't say I'm amazing. I'm just like vibing. I don't know. I just like throw crap places and I just watch a lot of Animal Crossing on YouTube. So maybe I just copy their ideas. Yeah. Oh, my God. The tree. So um, don't tell Nintendo right now, but um, I did the, the tree glitch a little bit. Um, So don't tell them. But um, yeah, this is kind of like my center focal point 
of the island. It's like a tree of life kind of situation. So we got the cool vine, or not vine, uh, the cool like roots pattern. <laughs> we have this really talkative gyroid. I've never heard him be so loud. I love him. Got Mr. Marshall making the show about him, because let's be real, it totally is. Ah, uh, I am giving myself credit. No, I I'm very proud of this island. I've been working on it a really long time, and I, I do love how it came out. And it it's just kind of like my happy place, you know? Like, I just love being here. Um, But yeah, kind of like Tree of Life situation, center of the town. You can, you know, sit and hang out with your friends and do all that good stuff. All the little stars kind of like circling it and all that. And yeah, group stretching. Everyone knows that. This great flag pattern that I found online ages ago that I don't know the creator of, unfortunately. But I feel like it captures the island really nice, you know? Like, it's kind of mountainy and starry and I miss the mountains. So, I tried to do that with this island. So, hopefully that comes across. Um, when you wake up in the dream address, which I can throw my dream address in the chat... Because, um, so when you come here, you climb up here, and there's kind of this little, like, dream area, right off to the left of the plaza, and you can get yourself a little outfit and walk around my island. And, yeah, I just want to include something like that, because I used to watch all the New Leaf videos, and I just think it's fun when people do junk like that. But yeah, we'll continue on this little narrow path by the river. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do miss the mountains a lot. I, I miss I miss living there. Um, where we live is nice now too, though. But um, you know, you you can't beat the Blue Ridge, honestly. My mom is terrified of it, but um, I just love it there, and it's so like cool in the summers, which is amazing. Um, anyway, so next to this building, there's this little plant nursery because I also love plants, so I wanted to include them. It's another common theme, you know. There's just plants scattered, and every house and like every crevice and it's just all over the place but um yeah got this little moss balloon i definitely got this idea off of i want to say like reddit or pinterest or something but um i changed it up a bit just because like i guess like things are a little less like moderny on my island a little bit so there's like a deer scare instead of i think it originally had like a sink and stuff um <laughs> this really crunchy gyroid taking care of his plants love him yeah, I miss this game a lot, too. I, I, I've i been working on this island, but, like, I'm really ready to get working on a new one, too, because, like, I've just been here for so long. So, little spoiler alert for at the end of the stream, we're going to chat. But, um, <laughs> anyway, this is my library. I made a little outdoor section. There's not been <laughs> any updates in Animal Crossing in a minute. Um, That's a pretty big point of contention, I think, for a lot of people who play this game. Because, um, everyone says it's kind of like a dead game now. Which, like, I guess, like, as far as the, like, social eye goes, like, maybe, you know? Like, trends and all that. But I guess I've played Animal Crossing, like, since all the old ones. So, like, I'm kind of used to the slow pace. Yeah, the, the Splatoon dev team, they're hogging all of Animal Crossing's attention away. <laughs> so, but I'm excited for the new Splatoon updates. I want the... What is it called? Side Order is going to be the new storyline or whatever. I'm very excited about that. So I hope we get some news on that soon. But yeah, we got my little library outside. Mr. Gnome chilling by the fire. Got a little typewriter and all that. Um, And then this indoor area, I decided to make a full library because I like that outdoor area so much. So let's go inside. Let's check out the library. Because who doesn't love a good library, you know? Libraries are a great public service, so go to your libraries. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll try to not kill this cockroach. Don't run under my feet, please. Um, but yeah, I just wanted it to be kind of like open and overgrown a bit, so I got a nice grand piano and all that. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm a murderer! No! He does give a character, and I just killed him like a monster. I'm horrible. Crucify me, please. Um, but yeah, let's go through the library. Just kind of a lot of sitting areas and like cozy nooks with books and all that. Um, let's see. This back room. Oh, there's another one in here. I'll try to not kill his brother. Oops, not slide. Um, I love this globe. 
I think I stuck way too much of them in there. It was from the like reading event or whatever, like the seasonal holiday. I just love that thing. I think it has, gives it a lot of like. I'm trying to think of the word. I don't know. Just like character, like old timey kind of because it's like brown. So it's kind of like dated and stuff. But yeah, we have. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So sorry. You guys, you guys are just witnessing me murder people. <laughs> Come on, what cockroach dies from being stepped on weak sauce? Now you're roasting the cockroach. <laughs> oh my god. Or I was just like, please. Um, he was just trying to read books, and I just had to go and cramp his vibe like that. Oh god, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> I'm a murderer. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. You're a witch, so you can bring him back. Yeah, I'll have to go to my, one of my little summoning circles and resurrect this man. Um, yeah, I've been in this room a bit too long. <laughs> Just like, you know, cozy corners, the little carts that all the books are being put away. Nice little elegant chairs and all that. Bullover items, you know. I just wanted lots of, like, statue -y things and all that in here. Um, let's go this way. But yeah. I say but yeah a lot. You guys should call me out for that. It's like when people say like over and over again. Just like filler sentence. Um, we got a nice little oh my gosh. How many cockroaches am I gonna kill in this stream? That would be so fun to do a co-stream. My friend Apple in the in the chat. Hey Apple, um, we want to do a co-stream too. We wanna we should all do an Animal Crossing co-stream. I don't know what, but something. That'd be fun. <laughs> Third time's the charm, I know. Why are we joining the library? I'm just like touring the murder house, apparently. Um, yeah. Just a bunch of books, cool statue, kind of like ambient lighting, you know, a little study. Oop, this is a dresser. What's in here? Nicely organized, apparently. You know, I thought it's like it kind of gave like the vibe of like someone's like searching. <laughs> I don't know for the Declaration of Independence or something. I don't know. My friends have been way too obsessed with National Treasure lately, so it's just been in my mind <laughs> rent free always. Um, oh, I almost killed that one. We got away scot-free. Let's go. Right now, though, my island is booty cheeks. <laughs> Your island's not booty cheeks. You just gotta, you just gotta fill her out, you know? Okay, this guy is, like, he's in the way. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna... Oops. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to... No, no, please, no. Oh. <laughs> trying so hard. He just ran under my feet. Do you guys see that? They're trying to... They're trying to kill themselves this is a dark stream oh my god um yeah anyway oh damn it <laughs> oh my gosh okay we're just gonna move on um there's a little coffee station in here to drink your coffee and brew some stuff while you sit on the bench and read your books and do your studying or do your treasure hunting or whatever my god kinky keep, keep the chat pg you guys i say even though it's an 18 plus chat Okay, run away, run away, run away. We're not gonna kill any more cockroaches today. I am putting that into the universe. We're not gonna kill any more cockroaches. Um, okay, and then up here is kind of where like the librarian works and all that. So she's got her little desk and her little donations box where she can check out your books and drink her tea and all that. Um, the character, damn it, oh my God. You guys didn't see that, you didn't see that. Um. <laughs> I made the character that owns the library like Raven from Teen Titans <laughs> or Kill My Roaches. Listen, I could, but they've just inhabited the place, you know, and I didn't put any jive words in here. So someone's got to check out books. All the cockroaches want to be stepped on you. On, stepped on by you. Oh, my God. No, I don't want to kill them. I feel bad. I don't even I hate bugs in real life. I've, I'm so scared of them in real life. So in real life, you know, this is accurate. <laughs> He's a paid actor. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Just kind of more. More of the same with the Mr. Library. But I like how this came out. I love a good library, you know. I just like cozy dark wood vibes. I'm gonna leave before I, I kill that guy. <laughs> because I'm not trying to murder everyone in every single room today. Alright. Yeah. That's the library. Got the little outdoor section. Um, let's go up here. Hey, Marshall. What are you doing, buddy? You're in my way a little, but that's okay. He's really trying to go right where I wanted to go, huh? Can I just thank you? <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
Um, this is my big lake. Um, I got this idea from Froggy Crossing. How do I do the... Does anyone know how to do the, like, diagonal? Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah. I got this idea from Froggy Crossing. It's just a big old lake. And I thought it filled the space out nice, and it's just nice kind of, like, natural stuff. But, um, you know, it's cool, the view, like, everything's all in the distance and all that. But, um, there's a little buggy on the tree. I'll try to not scare it away. Yeah, I was really going for, like, kind of dark academic a lot of it, because I'm into that. Also, hey, good to see you. <laughs> How do you pronounce your username? Bella Linsar? I'm sorry. I, I like I've known it all this time and I, I just I don't know how to say it in real life. That's embarrassing for me. But um, thanks for coming. I'm glad you're here. Um, up here is Mr. Marshall and Cherry's house. Um, Cherry's been here since I first started this game, actually. I couldn't help but like not let her go. Honestly, I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> I love that, though. It's OK. But um, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I'm very glad you're here. What's my next island's gonna be? You have to wait till the end, Vash. <laughs> you're spoiling it. I, I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Like right now, we're going over this island. Um, anyway, distraction. Um, Marshall and Cherry kind of like oversee the orchard. I guess. I guess more Cherry. I feel like Marshall's probably like a vendor at the. <laughs> Don't say sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm not fussing at you. No, it's just we have to do the things in like theatrical order, you know, like that has to be my dramatic reveal at the end. I have to come on. Oh, Marshall just went inside. Um, I feel like he's probably a merchant at the farmer's market, though. I don't know. That's just my little headcanon. But yeah, yeah keep him in suspense. There we go. Yeah, I made a little bridge going to the orchard. Um, but yeah, Cherry's got a little farm, and then I feel like she, like, tends to the orchard or whatever. There's little, like, ladders and stuff going on in there. And yeah, just all the fruit. I know orchards are, like, overdone, but when I was playing New Leaf, you know, when, like, we had all the... All the different fruits, like, persimmons and all that, like... I just loved all those fruit, and I thought that... I totally thought they were gonna be in this game, too. So... But I, I, I love a good orchard. Um, but yeah, a little picnic off the orchard you can sit at. I guess you wouldn't want to in the rain, maybe. <laughs> but, um, you know, little, little donuts, little fruit salad, little picnic. Who, who doesn't love a picnic? But yeah, I really liked, I got this idea, I think, from maybe Nintendoc. I, I like the little land bridge. I made a few little land bridges. I also meant to go to the campsite first, you guys. My bad. We're going to backtrack a little bit. That was not intentional. Um, Let's go this way. So this way, there's like a little kind of secret hoppy path. And then Mr. Dobby's house, kind of by the lake. I think he's like a writer, kind of like a little hermit in the woods. Because in Happy Home, you make him a little like writer's paradise or whatever. So I, I just feel like he's like out in the woods by himself, writing his books. But, um, you know, he's also like nice once you get to know him. So like a hermit, but like also cuddly grandpa. But um, this is the campsite. Oh, and we have a campsite villager today. I guess we'll, we'll have to go check that out. Um, but yeah, just a little gyroids chilling around by the fire. I low-key dedicated way too much space <laughs> to the campsite because I like kind of never come up here. But um, I don't know. I just like how like overgrown it is back here and it's kind of like away from civilization a little bit. Um, but yeah, a little gyroids enjoying another picnic. I have a lot of picnics. I just love picnics, you know, who doesn't? Um, who do we think the villager is? Does anyone want to take a guess? I always see people do this on stream. I hope it's someone good, maybe. But I don't know. Yeah, place your bets. Place your bets. Also, is everything running okay? Cherry. Oh, like the bear, like Chevy. Is that how you say her name? I'm not Annabelle. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you guys don't know, this is like a story. Annabelle is my nemesis in this game because she never ever wanted to leave and i tried so hard and i finally gave her to um my friend tara's friend so and she she, she was like her birthday twin i think and like one of her favorite villagers so she was so happy to get her but um yeah she she would not leave me alone and i didn't like that girl so i'm glad she's gone molly would be great oh you love molly tatsu judy that would be a really good one i like a frog keeping it simple but let us find out who is in here I think it's a lion. 
That's my guess. I don't remember the lion's names. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's Olivia. Is that her name? Olivia? Yeah. Wow, she's a pretty good one, actually. I never get good villagers in my campsite. That's kind of crazy. She's cute. Um, what is she? A snooty? I don't think I actually have a snooty on my island right now. I like her. Her. She's cute. Okay, I'm gonna leave you for now, Olivia, because I have my, my end game, I think. But she's freaking cute. Love her. I hope you have a nice stay, bestie. Yeah, I never get good villagers on my island, let alone really just at all. I got Marshall in my campsite. That's that's a pretty good, a good pretty good one, I guess. Because I love that stinky little smug boy. Second best cat? I'm like, what about Kiki? Kiki's number one best cat. That's controversial, probably. Anyway, sorry, we're backtracking a little bit, but um, now we're like kind of below the cliff that the orchard and stuff is on. And then in this little corner, there's like a little lemonade stand in this little gyroid. I don't know. He's hanging out and getting lemonade. Oh, my God. I never realized how puckered his face was. I'm learning so much about the gyroids today, you guys. Look how puckered it is. I love him. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the crux of my house, I guess. I should have showed you guys my map. I'm such a fake Animal Crossing streamer. Whoops. Um, here's my map. My house is up there. I made like the moon, the mountain, like a little moon shaped. So, you know, it, it just kind of fits with like all the celestial vibes. But, um, yeah, we're in like the crux of that. So at the base of my house, there's like a little lavender farm. And this gyroid's helping me out, I guess, and flailing his arms. Me too, bestie. Me too. Um, but yeah. I just like- I, if you can't tell, I think I have, like, way too many farms, honestly. I just love a farm. But, um, let's go this way. And... If you can't tell by the sign, there's a little... Little thing going on down here. We got Mr. Red and his trading outpost with all of his probably illegally sourced goods. Legally sourced goods. You know, everyone gives Red a lot of hate, but like, I loved him as a kid. You know, City Folk was like my first game, and he's not a fox because in Japan, like, that's just like not what like his species is referred to. I forget what exactly, because I know like Nook is like a tanuki or something like that, which is like not really a raccoon, but like adjacent. But I love Red. I, I, My little child ass was like, he is a fox. I love him. And in City Folk, that was when he's a Kenton in Japan. Okay. I JK who you are, F Red. I, everyone hates him in this game. I don't know why. He's like a little sketchy, you know? But like, and like in City Folk, he was sketchy too. Because like his store was like in a dark alleyway. And he called you cousin. And I was just like, we're best friends now. And I love you. But um... You know, he's still he's still a little criminal, maybe. He's he's maybe wanted. Hundred thousand belts, you know. Um, and then behind here, coming off that incline, we have a little star fragment farm. Behind the fortune teller's house. So let's go in here. This is like the smallest of my my houses that I've built. Um, but it's just a little fortune teller tent. Okay, I'm trying to not kill this cockroach but yeah you can just come here and get your little fortune red he's really trying he's just yeah move please thank you i didn't think that would actually work but yeah got to little anyone that calls you cousin out of random red flag you know that might be fair that might be fair but i'm gullible and i just love him i'm sorry call me a hater or i guess i'm not a hater i guess you guys are red haters but I'm just trying to be different, you know? I'm just quirkier, like that. <laughs> oh god, cursive. Yeah. Y'all slandering my man Red. See, Red's, Red's great. I just think he's cute. That, that's literally all he has going for him. He's not- he hasn't done an honest day of work in his entire life. Proud Red hater. <laughs> uh, the chat is, like, on fire right now. Everyone's just like, Red, boo! Um, but yeah, a little stargazing spot on the rocks here. I guess you can't really gaze any stars tonight because it's a little cloudy, but that's okay. Um, just a little area to kind of like sit and meditate. Um, is this statue allowed on Twitch? I was going to say I love them, but also, you know, we should go. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for that. Um, anyway, making my way down the beach, making my way downtown. 
Um, at some point, I downloaded this railroad code. And I thought it would just be cool, and I, I don't really know why. Like, it doesn't look bad, but it's just a little random, because one day I was like, <laughs> not boobies. No, there's no boobies on this chat. This is a family-friendly chat. This is a family game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I was just like, railroad tracks that lead to nothing would be really cool. And that's something I did. Um, but yeah. So walking down the beach, just like more transition kind of areas, a balloon in the distance. Please don't yell at me for not going to pop it. Um, and then kind of in the tree line here, there's a little little witch's cove kind of nestled by the beach. And just some little little things, you know, someone's up to no good down here, maybe. Little books to study. Oh, there's this cave. I love this cave. When they added this with 2.0, it's just so stinking cool, man. Like, what's going on in there? It gives me, like, Skyrim dungeon vibes. I guess everything kind of gives me Skyrim vibes, <laughs> but I, I like that thing. I think that thing's pretty cool. I haven't read the chat in a while. Sorry. My ADHD is, like, out of whack right now, you guys. Sells you a fake necklace that turns green. Or sells you a whack mixtape. <laughs> What would be on Red's mixtape, though? Like, Weird Al or something? You know? A cave. I wonder what's inside. Probably treasure. Or maybe Gendry, because he makes his Draugr sounds at me when he wants things. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are whack. Anyway, let's go this way. Um, This is like the last thing I built, actually. So, technically I'm not alive. I'm not a liar, but um, all these little Jai words sing to you. I'll give them their moment. <laughs> not not Strider saying Serana best girl. It's true. I don't know why she keeps killing scaling like that. Gold Digger by Kanye West. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I got this idea from Liz the Last on YouTube, who got it from someone else. But, um, you just put, like, your little radio and then all the little gyroids sing to you. I just think they're neat. I just love little gyroids. I think they're so cute. But, um, yeah, they're kind of just intermingled in, like, a muddy, overgrown little farm. Um, and then coming up that way, we can go towards my house. But we've got this little, like, abandoned tower where... I don't know. Fancy people used to live or something. <laughs> um, I just wanted to make like an abandoned tower because I felt like it kind of fit all the like overgrown vibes of the island. But um, I wanted to use these buildings and I didn't really know how else to. But I think this is cute and I think it turned out OK. You know, someone used to live here. <laughs> you take my money when I'm in need of. <laughs> Red's just a little scam artist, you guys. He means well. Um, I added this little kitchen here. You can actually use it, which is fun, even though I don't. Um, little fairy circle tucked in. I feel like I'm zooming. I need to, like, take a sec. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my house. Got a little farm outside, because I love farms. That's my whole personality in this game. Can't wait to build many, many more. <laughs> Um, yeah, just a little rocking chair. And then let's go inside my house. And yeah, here's my house. I'm freaking out because there's more cockroaches. Um, but yeah, this is like the most housey of all the houses I made, I guess, because it's my, my player house, so. I just have like the stuff I actually use, like the cooking and the little workbench and all that. Oh my goodness. I lied. I said I wasn't going to kill any more cockroaches, you guys. Fired. Absolutely fired trash. Um, but yeah, I just have... Oh. Oh, Doby. Doby is really trying to make this stream about him. Wow. Doby, I'm trying to tour my house, man. Doby said, Bored now. Make it about me. Hey, bud. I'll talk to you since I was rude to you earlier. Yeah, you wanted to see what I'm up to. Kind of giving a tour right now, but that's okay. 
extra. Absolutely extra. But we love you. It's okay. Look at him clapping for me. Will you follow me from room to room? Or are you just gonna, like, chill there while I show everyone around my house? MTV Cribs time. Doby is not here for MTV Cribs. Doby's like, give me a snack. Pay attention to me. I'm bored. <laughs> Um, this is like my little greenhouse nursery room, which makes no sense, by the way, because everything's just like pitch black, you know, there's no windows to be found. So I don't know how all these plants are alive. I guess magic. That would make sense. We'll go with that because I'm a witch. So magic. <laughs> um, but yeah, just got all the little plants scattered around. I love the vine ceiling item just because like I love all of them. I love all the plants in this game. I'm so glad they like added more too. Um, where are you going? What are you doing? You gonna take a seat? I'm just gonna, gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, there are plants that live in the shade. All of those plants are just plants that live in the shade. Even though I'm pretty sure there's a monastera in there, and those plants definitely need, like, a lot of sun. There's one right here. That, that, that's a plant that definitely needs sun. I've never had one before, but I know that that's a thing that they need. Um, this is, like, my little study, because... Fun fact, I'm a writer in real life. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I just want to make a little place where I can write. And, you know, all the crumpled papers on the ground are <laughs> very accurate to uh, process. So we love that. We love that. But, yeah, just a little typewriter. There's, like, some villager photos on the wall. Of people who used to live here. We used to have Miss Anka on the island. Coco. I miss Coco. She's cute. I have, like, so many normal villagers on my island. Because, like, I what? I have Kiki. I have Atual, who we're going to go see. And I have Ioni. Yeah, that's, like, a lot of... Oh, you want to hit the road? Okay. Let me say take care. Let me not accidentally say stick around. Thanks for coming, Doby. Yes, yeah, so I use sun magic on the ones that need sun. Very, very correct. That is exactly what I do. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. We're just gonna move on. Do, 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 do. Up here is my bedroom, because what is a house without a bedroom? Oh my gosh. Well, you didn't belong in here anyway, so that's okay. Um, yeah, just kind of... It's, it's a bit more of the same, like, I don't know what to say. There's some bones in the corner. We don't have to talk about that. But yeah, you know, what do I say? I'm like, here's my bed. I have a dresser, like, it's a bedroom. It's cozy. I wish this was my bedroom in real life. Because, like, this, like, mossy, sparkly rug. Like, I just wish I was surrounded by, like, plants. And I was in, like, a cozy cottage all the time. But yeah, we got my boy Cody up there. I miss him. He was my other first villager. I ended up letting him move away. And exchanged him for another villager who we'll see soon. But, um... Where should we go? Let's go downstairs. Downstairs. We got a witchy island, so we gotta have a witchy basement. I freaking love this floor and wall combo. And then it like does this. Like, is this not the coolest? I'm obsessed. I'm just freaking obsessed, you guys. But yeah, there used to be more in the basement. Little tarantula. He can stay there. <laughs> But um, I wanted to like really just show off this floor, so I just kind of moved stuff around a bit more. We got Jack's little robes and his portrait and all that. And yeah, just creepy witchy things going on in a creepy witchy basement. Are you summoning down there? I don't know. I have an arcade in mind. <laughs> it's a different speed than a... <laughs> yeah, I love the shiny floor. It's so It's so cool. It's just so pretty. Um, I don't know what I'm summoning down there, though. Mind your business. Demons. <laughs> There's demons on this island. A dragon, a demon, what? All of the above, yes. Um, so this room is completely different pace than the rest of my house, by the way. Um, I thought I had the lights on in here. I'll turn them on. Um, this is just kind of like a trophy room. God. I'm just gonna murder everyone every day. Um, but this is just kind of like all the stuff you unlock in this game. And I didn't want to get rid of it, so I kind of like hid it behind the bookcase. So it's like not exactly a part of the theme or whatever, but 
it's just fun, you know. I have like posters from like my old villagers. I used to have Shari on my island and Drago. I love Drago. He's so cute. Can you tell? I love dragons. As if I didn't make it my whole personality. Yeah, I used to have Anka. I don't know why I let her move away. I used to have Raymond. Remember when Raymond was like all the rage? And freaking Mr. Popular and everyone loved him. I still love him, to be fair. But people were like paying real money and stuff to like get him on their island or whatever. Yeah, Anka's praising the sun right now. But um, yeah, just like all the little accolades you get in this game. I I meant to go back and get gold in fishing because I have gold in bug, but I just never did. And I didn't feel like it because I hate fishing and I'm so bad at it. People are still paying money for Raymond. Why? He has an amiibo card now. People are such little scammers. Oh my gosh. Animal Crossing really said, let's make this game capitalism. Which, like, I guess gets your bag, but geez. Will someone pay $200? Oh my god. I don't know about all that. Fortunately, um, Apple let me borrow Lucky's amiibo card, so I did not have to pay $200 to get a villager on my island. <laughs> that's so crazy, dude. But yeah, that's just my house. It's pretty, like, it's the most, like, player house of all of them, I'd say. But yeah, it's cozy. I wish it was my house in real life. Because that would be fun. And yeah, we're out of there now. Go back down the moon mountain. And past the dilapidated tower. Um, yeah, and then this area is kind of like, it ties around with the little gyroid farm. And then we have Mrs. Twal's house. And her, her house is really simple, you know? It's just, like, the little lake with some books, because all the normies love books, so, like, I don't know. We just have, like, a book club or something, and we, like, hex guys, I don't know. <laughs> um, I love the colorway, like, the pastel colorway of the tiny library. I feel like it fits her. If you can't tell, I just have tiny libraries literally everywhere on my island. Um, but yeah, now we're kind of back in this circle, so... Around here, we have Miss Ruby's house. I love her little red eyes. I just think she fits in around here, you know? But yeah, little bunny has a little carrot farm, little sugar cane, so she can make her carrot cakes or whatever. Um, I have a little gnome watching over. And then we have Yoni's house. She is by far my favorite of the new villagers. I just think she's so stinking cute. Like, look at her little picture. Never actually clicked on this before. It's a Virgo, you guys. Wait, September 11th. Oh my god, she was born under a lucky star! I just think she's neat. Oh my god, I love her. She's so stinking cute. Um, I think Def still has it then. I think I missed something. I still have Lucky on my island. I, I, I got a mini amiibo. I gave you your amiibo card back though. Is that what we're talking about or did I miss something? I'll get caught up. Um, but yeah, little little house decorated for a Yoni. I use blue, maybe a bit <laughs> heavy-handedly. But I don't know, the blue villagers, I was just like, you will be blue. Um, but yeah, back at my lake. So let's go back down. And we got... Did you... Did I what? What did I do? Did I do something bad? Yeah, I gave it back because you... Came to my house to get it back. I don't have a face cam, but I have a little mini amiibo that Prince Vashi gave to me. So I have like his mini amiibo. I need to get all the amiibos. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's me like every day of my life, though, honestly. Let's be real. I'm just like, where am I at all times? This gyroid is like horny and. Yeah, you dropped it off, but you also came back to pick it up. It's been a long time, yeah. It, that was, like, back in 2020. That was, like, back in the the dark days. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Got a little post office. This, this gyroid that is really headbanging. I guess he's excited to go on some adventure. But, yeah. You can get all your packages here. Dash gets all his Amazon packages here. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Moving on, we got a little wishing well in this little, like, transition area. 
<laughs> the Stone Age, yeah. Um, got a little maypole. I love the maypole. It's so cute. It's like definitely one of my favorite seasonal items. I just think it's cute. How many times am I sick here? Oh, hey, CJ's here. Hey, bud. Like, you don't really fit in around here, but that's okay. Nyuk, nyuk. I want to make him and Flick a island getaway house where they like do all their stuff together. And stuff. I just think they're cute. I can't do your challenge right now, though. I forgot how long he talks. I maybe should have ignored him. <laughs> no, not right now. Huh? <laughs> 5 a.m. You're working overtime. Um, but yeah, this is by the museum, and this is Blather's little study over here. We got a place where he can, like, do his work and type stuff. All of his bugs that he hates. Just, you know, surrounded by him at all times. Oh, also, this is my very first gyroid up here. I wanted to put him in, like, a place where, you know, you could actually see. So, oh, CJ, you're boxing me in here, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's more boobies. Run away, run away. Don't demonetize me, please. Um, but yeah, here's the museum. Pretty simple. Just kind of vibing with my... What is this guy called again? Megalo? Not Megalodon. <laughs> That's the shark. Uh, Megalo something. Something like that. I just like this little deer guy. I think he fits in around here. Um, we have Brewster's little gyroid farm. Because, you know, he loves the gyroids and... This sign, like, came out when 2.0 came out and, like, everyone was downloading it. And I just think it's cute. So, I wanted to give him a little gyroid farm. Got Talkoid and Squeakoid. Oh, wow. I, you know, I actually don't think I have a single Squeakoid on this island. I feel like that's, like, Animal Crossing <laughs> sacrilege, you guys. Um, yeah, that's rough for me. Um, but yeah, we have the little outdoor section to Brewster's Cafe. A little Brewstoid. You can sit out here and drink your coffee with your pigeon milk, if you so choose. Um... And yeah, just a little more beach, more glowing moss, because if you can't tell, I'm so obsessed with glowing moss. Um, we got a little Kuropi snack, chillin'. And then up here, there's a hermit crab. Up here, we have a little, like, hot springs kind of area on the rocks. You know, with this haunted statue watching over you. Doesn't that sound like such a relaxing time? Yeah. Go back this way. We're getting down to the wire here, I guess. Um, yeah. Bit of backtracking back this way, but that's okay. Got another diagonal bridge, because who doesn't love a good diagonal bridge? And then we have Mr. Lucky, speak of the devil. Love this guy. He's my other favorite vi uh, villager, him and Kiki. They're the cutest. Make it float. Make what float? Did I? My brain is so short-circuited, though. Um, but yeah, this is Lucky's house. He's like the little graveyard keeper. Kind of doing his creepy little thing. Out here in the woods. I hope he's wearing his towel. Oh my god. I don't know if I gave that to him or if he just like... If he got it, like someone gave it to him, like another villager. I, but like, he just walks around my island wearing a towel and I, I just don't know why. And I wish he would put on some clothes. <laughs> this is Andy. I support this. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> I'm glad you, you support Lucky walking around naked in his towel. Honestly, power to him, I guess. Um, here's the graveyard, though. Love a good graveyard. I think this is probably my favorite part on my whole island. Because I've rebuilt this like a million different times. But I think this is I think it turned out pretty okay. More boobies. Don't look. Don't look. Um, this is um up here. This like kind of mossy gravestone. This was back when like everyone thought Tortimer was dead. Back when <laughs> I don't know what that emote even is. I love it. Um, this is when everyone thought Tortimer was dead when the game came out. Obviously, he's very alive and well, but you know, why not? It's somebody. I guess there's a lot of dead people. You know, all the dead people in Animal Crossing. The, like, cheeriest game in the whole world. Let's go this way. Hey, Yoni. You're in your cute little rain outfit. I fucking love her, dude. 
He's so stinking cute. He faked his death. He did. He did so he can move to an island and mine his business and sell his acorns when he's cornimer. Um, this is a little community garden. Got all kinds of stuff here, you know, just a bunch of starters and pumpkins and flowers. Remember when everyone used to, like, use, like, balls and stuff to make farms instead of, like, plants before we got, like, actual crops and stuff? Those were the good old days. <laughs> yeah, just a little community garden, little little well back there and a bucket so people can water their stuff. And yeah, just a little, little community garden. Um, let's go this way. They have Abel's, the clothing shop. Everyone knows Abel's. Got little clothes outside. Yeah, everyone puts clothes outside, so it's definitely not the most, like, unique <laughs> design. But I think it's cute, so what can you do? Doby. Doby is everywhere today. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, buddy? Doby really came here to say the stream is about me um if we go this way in this little crossroads it's kind of this little like secret path back here it's not really secret but it's like kind of hidden so um back here we have another little lavender farm little gyroid that watches over it it's that same little puckered guy he's fun i really need to get a squeakoid um yeah a little ukulele i'm pretending it's a loot because there's no loot in this game but it could be um, a little fishing spot with another little crunchy gyroid, a little workbench station. And then this beach is kind of like I tried to do like a ruin kind of vibe, just like abandoned and disheveled a little bit. But um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to decorate my beach and not leave it like oh, empty. So that is what I came up with. I don't know if it looks good, but I, I think it looks OK. Um, We have this building now, which is like, thank you for the nice mini beach. Thank you. Um, we have this building now, which is a tavern I made because it's, you know, fantasy travel vibes here. So called the Witch's Brew. And we'll go in there in a sec. This is kind of like the little outdoor sitting section where you can eat and hang with the gyroid, eat the U-log. Got a guitar that I'm also pretending is a loot. It's fine. Um, yeah. Let's head in here. Hopefully I won't kill any more cockroaches in here. I'm sure I will. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, um, I kind of just went with like, you know, when you think of taverns, I think of Skyrim. So big fire pit in the middle and the barkeep kind of working at the counter back here. I do need a bard. I need um, I need the bard from Morthal. <laughs> that sings Ragnar the Red. Because <laughs> she's so talented. Oh my god, I didn't even know he was there. That's a bummer. Thought that was your job. Sonir, yeah, we need we need Sonir up in this up in this tavern. That would really really make a world of difference here. For the better. Absolutely. But yeah. It's kind of cozy, like dark little tavern vibe. Everything's really mossy and overgrown. I love Sonir, dude. She is so funny. And then in here we have a little kitchen. I don't know what to fully say. Like it, it's it's a kitchen, you know. But um, I was kind of thinking like the Bannered Mare and White Run. I guess like for people who've played Skyrim, I'd be surprised if anyone hasn't by now. Not like it's a new game or anything. But um, just like the little fire pit that everyone can like cook at or the wait staff like cooks at and all that. And yeah, just kind of like cozy off to the left. Will run everyone off the island. They just don't understand your talent. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we can go with that. John has a beautiful voice. Strider, keep it up, buddy. <laughs> I don't appreciate true art. You are correct. Um, but yeah, here's a little room you can stay at for 10 gold because everything is about Skyrim in my brain. Got a nice little bed to lay in. Don't look at my underpants. <laughs> um, yeah, a little workbench that I put in here because honestly, when I was building this house, I thought I would use that and then I didn't really, but it's there. Um, but yeah, little wardrobe, just little 
cavern room things. Ten gold, that's outrageous. That's a big bed. That's a nice bed. I thought I did okay. You're just a hater. <laughs> um, let's go downstairs. Now we usually save downstairs for last, but let's go downstairs. Um, this is just kind of like the tavern basement. You know, there's all the barrels. Oh my gosh. I just, I gotta get over it, I guess. I'm just murdering everybody today. Um, this is just where, like, all the ale and stuff or whatever mead is being brewed. I room charge you more to sleep on. On a rock, yeah. Oh my god. Booze! Yep, this is where all the booze is. This is where they store it. There's some bones back there. I don't know why. I don't ask questions. But, um... My whole thing down here with, like, the glowing moss hanging on the ceiling is just kind of like, you grab what you need and then you run back upstairs, you know? Like, it's it's kind of untouched down here. But yeah. Isn't where the booze is. Get crunk. Breakfast gotta be included for 10 gold. You know, they oughta. Wait, is this a basement? Yes, it is a basement. Where'd you think we were? <laughs> Get crunk upstairs. Um, upstairs is just like the tavern keeps bedroom. I based her off of Yennefer Vingerberg from The Witcher, because I love Yennefer. Um, and by that, I mean, I put her outfit in here and everything's all black because she wears all black. So. That's really it. But, um, yeah, the character who owns the tavern just sleeps up here. She's got all her bougie, gaudy stuff. What do you mean interesting? I don't understand what that means. Tatsu's bedroom. Tatsu doesn't deserve this nice of a bedroom. Tatsu sleeps in the basement. Oh, that's what, that's the joke we're getting at. I'm, I'm 18 steps behind. Good lord. <laughs> You're looking for real estate. <laughs> it's your summer home. I'm caught up now. Good lord. <laughs> That would be a nice basement to stay, you know? Just shove the bones to the side and it's pretty cozy. <laughs> but yeah, she's a witch too, probably. I guess everyone here is. Um, but yeah, she just does her little sorceress things up here and drinks her tea and all that jazz. Ask Tara first. Tara wouldn't give you permission. Tara would think my basement's too good for you. Um... Yeah, normally everyone goes in those tombs, two rooms last, but um, we're going to go in this room last because there's a complimentary yogurt bar. Oh my god. Um, but this is like a little apothecary shop, like Miss Arcadia's Cauldron, because I can't shut up about Skyrim. <laughs> Arcadia, if you're seeing this, I didn't steal from you. <laughs> everyone memes me because I always steal all her health potions early game and then... The tired thugs come to kill me when I'm, like, level two. Gotta love that for me. But, um, yeah. Just a little apothecary shop. Little, like, butterfly wings to make your, like, ales and ointments and potions and all that jazz. I love these little moss jars. Can't wait for her to send the bandits to this island. The bandits are not allowed <laughs> on the island. They're not allowed. Oh. I didn't know when you touched that it moved. Well, that's a little spoopy. People still stay spoopy. I guess I did, so that's that's fine, I guess. I did not know they did that. Wow. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> I'm so good at tr transitioning. I'm just like, anyways. Can't ask. She'd never allow it. Yeah, Tara would hit you. <laughs> but yeah, that's my tavern. I know I, I didn't know when you touched the skellies that they did that. Their bones just like crickety crackety. And they kind of look better that way too. But yeah, that's my tavern. <laughs> Spoopy is the only way I say that word, honestly. Respect. Here is my peninsula. Thought to little lighthouse. Um, and then this idea I stole from Nintendo Talk. I like took a screenshot of the world and took a picture of the what is it? Lighthouse. I just had that word in my head and then it immediately went away. Is there a word other than spoopy? I don't think so. But yeah, I took a screenshot of my lighthouse when it was the sunset. And someone's painting this right here. I don't know who. Maybe Bam. He's a sporty. He's a jock. I don't know if that's like his thing. Borrowed. <laughs> um, and then we got another tiny library on the beach. 
another little transition area. Um, and then this is kind of like an extension of those ruins over there. I have this little statue guy. Which I didn't know lit up when I first put that, by the way. So that's kind of funky. Um, have these little gyroids and this little summoning circle. I don't know what they're doing. But <laughs> they're doing something. That's the whole theme of this island. Everyone's up to no good. And I mind my own business. Even though I'm also a witch, apparently. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the front of Bam's house. He's got a little, little greenhouse area. He's a jock, but I feel like he's like a plant jock. At least that's the story in my head. So, um, he's got a little blueberry farm outside his house with the little hydrangea bushes and these blue starters, which are obviously blueberries because they're blue. Th that's what I mean with the blue villagers. I was just like, let's make their whole personality blue. And that's 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 what I call creativity. That's what I call creativity, you guys. Um, but yeah, he's got blueberry wine that he makes. Uh, he probably sells it at like the farmer's market and the tavern, even though even though that's the only place on the island where it shows up. So maybe it's not very good. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then up here, we have my little time garden. I guess this is kind of like the magnum opus of my island, which is like a dramatic way of calling that. But basically during like 2020, when the game came out, I like had a little memory per each month. So we got when the game started, the Animal Crossing switch. Bash actually gave me this, I'm pretty sure, because I didn't have an Animal Crossing switch at first until my lovely, lovely partner Strider, one of your mods, got me one. And it's like my prized possession now. I just love this game. Um, but yeah, got a cherry blossom from the first cherry blossom season, the little like branches. We have a blue rose from my very first blue rose, which I did and like cultivated all by myself. Very hard. Um, we have a little typewriter that a friend gave me because in June of this year, I was writing on my novel a lot. So that's just like a little like IRL goal, I guess. We've got a cancer fragment because I'm a cancer and all I do is cry. <laughs> um, we have a party popper from the first fireworks. We got this thing from September. I'm not going to lie. September was kind of slow, and I just kind of put that there because I was like, this is from September. Um, we have a jack-o'-lantern from the first Halloween, which is my favorite holiday in this game. That guy... F oh, hey. Oh, my God. I'm noticing so much about this game. The little jack-o'-lantern flickers, too. That's so freaking cute. I love... Uh, you learn everything. You learn something new every day. Um, yeah, we got a little platter from the first turkey day. Little Christmas tree, non-denominational holiday tree. <laughs> Thank you. This is my favorite. I, I think I said the graveyard was my favorite part. This is definitely my favorite part of this island. It's just like cute memory crap. So I'm a little sappy, but it's a little sappy. Um, and then we have a glow stick from the very first New Year's. But yeah, I like that area. I just think it's neat. And then, yeah, we're back at the crossroads. So let's go back this way. Got a little pride garden. Happy Pride, everybody. Oh, it's June. That's kind of perfect, actually. <laughs> but yeah, got my little pride topiary garden. And then to top it all off, we have this like little transition area. Ironically, I feel like this is kind of like the beginning of my island because like, you know, like you come up the cliff and it's like a sword and you're like going to go on an adventure or whatever. Yeah. Happy Pride. Yeah. Do a little, do a little dancey dance. Almost did the crazy eyes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like this little space is kind of like happy, not happy. God, I can't talk. Um, just like the start of like an adventure kind of little area. You have your little map and stuff. But um, yeah, now we're at the beginning again. So that's my island. Um, I hope you guys like it. Been working on it. What is that rainbow man? I love his little rainbow face and his hat. But yeah, that is La Lune. Um, I've been working on it for a long time, and I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty happy with how it came out and all that. But um, full circle. Yeah, I, I pulled that off relatively well. I, I feel like I don't normally navigate my own island that well. Nope, there's a balloon and bam. Hey, bam. 
Um, but yeah. So, Vash was <laughs> pestering me earlier in the stream because this balloon is really cramping my vibe right now. Um, <laughs> completely distracted. Okay. But yeah, Vash was like pestering me earlier in the stream because he wants to know the theme of my next island. But, um, that's kind of the point because I've been working on this island for like a minute now and I love it. I'm a little tired because like, you know, I just want to do something new. So yeah, we're going to do a completely new island and I don't know, shoot it, shoot the balloon. Okay, we can shoot the balloon. It might have gone away now. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should reveal the island in this stream or oh, where to it go. It's already gone. Sorry. Pestering is such a harsh word. Sorry. Kindly bothering. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should reveal the like quote unquote theme in this stream or in the next one. I don't know how it works, you know. Save it? I should save it. Okay. Everyone's saying I should save it. Save it. Okay. Wow. I thought you guys would want to be in the know. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little hint because it's going to be a city island because this island is not that. So never done that before. That's kind of fun. But yeah, I guess I will save it for next time. Um, Next stream and like my other ones will probably be a bit longer than this one, I guess, because this is kind of just like a tour and all that. But um... Yeah. Reading the chat right now. Ooh. <laughs> um, well, I guess I've run out of stuff to say. <laughs> this is the awkward part. I'm still new around here, you guys. Sorry. But, um, yeah, I guess thank you guys for coming. And thanks for watching my, my island tour and all that. And I'm excited to build a new island because I've been working on this one for forever. And I'm excited to start something new. So... That'll do it for me today, I guess. <laughs> I did amazing. Thank you. I feel like I'm super awkward, so hopefully I didn't do bad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the positive vibes, everybody. Thank you for the tour. You're welcome. I'm glad you liked it. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Yes, let's stream soon, Apple. That'd be so much fun. I don't have Mario Kart, so we'll have to figure that out. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you for all the... All the kind words. I feel like I'm hella awkward, but I'll, I'll, I'll get better. I'll, I'll do I'll do I'll do better and I'll be less of an awkward human or you guys will just get used to it. You know, one or the other. <laughs> but um, yeah, I suppose that will do it from me. But bam, you're cramping the outro, man. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me on this tour, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. Let me run away. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.